Hey everyone, it's Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert, and I'm hanging out here today in beautiful Minnesota at Carlson Ace Hardware in Prior Lake. We're getting ready for a big grill skills class tonight, but the joy of the day is this beautiful beast right here, the big green egg. And you know, your comments always lead us to where we are today because we're really comment driven when it comes to these YouTube videos. So let us know always, always, always what you want to hear, what you want to see, and how we can be more helpful. So today you've asked us to show you how this big green egg works and we're going to talk a little bit about how the regulator works on the top one of the absolute best accessories on this grill is this regulator right here and i'm going to show you my tips and secrets on how to run the bottom uh, i'm a little bit unique in how i operate the big green egg i do things a little bit non-traditional but i'll tell you what and the best part of it is learning how it works for you, doing what's best for you, and getting the most out of this ultimate cooking experience. So thanks for joining us for today's edition of uh, Ace This Grill or Ace This Recipe. We're excited to be here with you. Uh, come and join us as we go through the wonderful world of the big green egg. All right, you get your big green egg home and now what, right? How do I light it? How do I get it going? How do I regulate the heat? Well, look at this. This beauty up here is called the regulator. This is a new addition for Big Green Egg, uh, replacing that old daisy wheel that turned before. I love this regulator. It really, uh, wow, talk about minutia. It gets down into like the, the minute details of controlling temperature. This is my stopper, basically, right? This is gonna control how little air or how much air escapes the top. And obviously, the more air we can drive in through the bottom and up and out through the top, the better off we're gonna be, right? That's gonna drive this heat up. And the more we choke it off on the top like that and bring this guy down and down and down, the less heat or the lower the temperature. So we can get in that really nice low and slow, those beautiful long cooks, or if we're doing hot and fast, you can do that as well. All right, so we're down at the bottom and this is what we're talking about now. Look at the size of that opening, right? That's pretty big. I look at that and I think, okay, how can I slow down the airflow? Well, guess what? I've got a little bit of screen so I'll cover about half of the opening with screen. And then what's left, I'll cover about half of that with the flap. So now I have this, and I always tell people it's like the turbo on a car. You keep that turbo spooled and it's ready to deliver power when you need it. It is like amped up and ready to go. And I like to keep this uh, big green egg the same way. I like to keep it loaded. I like to keep it kind of spooled, if you will, because now let's say this is how I always run it. The only difference I'm gonna get is up here now on the regulator. So low and slow, a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer, and whoa, lots of heat as well. So the beauty is the bottom is ready. It is saying, give me more air, give me more air. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. But the top is saying, hold on a minute, slow down. I only want a little bit at a time. That is how I do it. I told you earlier, I'm kind of that non-traditional big green egg operator when it comes to that. But that is, the, that is my tip, my secret. That is how I do it. I set the bottom the same every single cook, and then I worry about the top with the regulator. Here we are in the belly of the beast, right? This is our extra large egg. I'll tell you, I, uh, man, I, I like a bigger big green egg. I, I, I want to have enough real estate in here so that if I want to do a little cast iron cooking, I want to do a little maybe a cast iron skillet or a cast iron uh, Dutch oven, and I also have room for my steaks. I love it. And the absolute cool part of this is guess what? I can now also just load half the charcoal if I want to do just a little load for a quick, fast dinner, um, or I can do offset as well. So I'll tell you, the beauty of Extra Large Egg is really having the ability to manipulate this grill and get everything out of here I need to. We're going to start with our speedy lights today. These guys do a fantastic job. We've got our lighter as well, and then we are going down into the big green egg lump charcoal, right? Oak and hickory, this stuff is fantastic. And look at that, what we like about that. Lots of random pieces, right? We've got small pieces, big pieces. The beauty of that, you'll see when we get it poured in here is the more random size pieces, the more opportunity we have for air to flow up through the bottom, through that lump charcoal, build that awesome heat we're looking for, and then straight out the top. So this is all designed to work together very, very beautifully. So let's get this guy uh, loaded up and get this baby lit. And then we'll show you that final step and how we control the temps. I always get asked, how much lump charcoal do you need to add? Do you add just enough for the cook or do you add enough to uh, you know, have a couple cooks? Well, guess what? You can reuse this. This is gonna cool off very nicely. When you stuff the top, close the bottom, uh, you're gonna be able to stir that ash and then reuse this lump charcoal. So I don't worry about 
um, adding a little bit. I would rather have more in here because I don't want to run out. Uh, I usually get inspired when I'm on the egg, and after dinner, I want to throw a little bit of extra stuff on there as well. So I like to, as you can see, I've got it loaded up about halfway up the fire ring, uh, and that's a good load for me. Now, look down inside there. We have one, two, three, four. See that? We put four of our starters in there. Um, and what I'm doing is trying to put them towards the middle because I want that to form a nice fire that's going to go in and down, in and down, in and down. And that builds up a really nice heat in the middle because the goal for me is to have more of my heat in the middle because now guess what? I've got a nice hot sear station, a little bit cooler and a little bit cooler as far as very direct, a little indirect and even more indirect. So again, it, to me, it's all about really manipulating it to get what I want. I've got blistering sear in the middle, a little bit softer, and then a nice little finish around the outside edge. So we'll get these guys lit. See, we've got all four of the fire starters going, right? One, two, three, four. Everything is doing its thing. I am now going to leave it alone, you guys. I'm not going to mess around with it. I've got the bottom set right where I want it, getting enough airflow in to keep it going uh, and help it get lit. And the beautiful part is I'm not going to add my grill grate yet. I'm going to leave this alone and let that fire drive in, drive in, drive in, drive in and start to build. What I'm looking for, I'm going to look way down in there. And I'm looking for a beautiful red, rich ember pile in all of these spots. Then once I know it's set, then I'll add my grill grate and then I'll start dialing my temperature. I'm doing this for a hot grill today, right? I want to grill hot and fast. So I'm going to carry my temperature up into that 400, 450 range. I'm not worried about, um, you know, low and slow. If I was doing low and slow, I would let that ember pile build a little bit, close the grill uh, and start tracking that temperature. Now, last chef tip of the day, I will actually go a little bit over uh, where I want to set it. So let's say I'm setting it at 225 for low and slow. I'm actually going to drive it to probably 275 and then slowly with micro adjustments on that regulator, dial it back down and get it lowered to where I want. But I feel like if I bring it over that heat uh, or that de desired temperature I want of 225, I bring it to 275, I'm establishing a much better, beautiful fire. There you have it. Watch that. It is, it is obviously going nice and hot, 400. And now, like I said, I keep the bottom the same, but I will start to choke this off a little bit to really keep that heat where I want it, right? Bottom setting, top setting. The regulator is fantastic. This is absolutely uh, an epic change that uh, Big Green Egg made to these. And now uh, we are in a really happy place. So let's give it a little burp quick and get this guy open. Let that smoke clear. And there we are. We built a nice ember pile. We've got a good strong fire and we are ready to cook. So that's it, you guys. Super quick and easy. Uh, be sure to check out our tip sheet as well. We got a great downloadable for you, but welcome to the ultimate cooking experience, the Big Green Egg. And it's that easy, you guys, just like that. Really learning how to work the bottom with the, uh, the opening, the screen, the flap, getting that kind of set so that you know, it's almost like a car and, and a turbo. You keep that turbo loaded so it's always there and ready uh, for anything you need. It's, it's spooled, it's wound up, and it's ready to go. I like to keep that bottom set so that I can control the temperature more with the regulator. Uh, we keep it open, we keep it set, we let that airflow do its thing, then we choke it off at the top and slow it down. It's that easy, it's that fun, and I'll tell you, the first few times you cook on the Big Green Egg, play with fire, right? We, we really shouldn't play with fire, really, but with the Big Green Egg, play with fire. Get that fire lit, learn how to, how to bump it up, bump it down, uh, control it, uh, and really get that everything you need out of this experience. So, hey, thanks for joining us for today's edition of Ace This Grill. Don't forget that little eye up top that you see. That's our information station. Uh, click on that. That's going to let you into all the gear, gadgets, and grills. And you can go to your participating Ace Hardware store that stocked the Big Green Egg and really get into the wonderful world of the egg. And then uh, head down below to the name of the video right under the picture there. Click that. That will expand it. And you can download our Big Green Egg tips as well. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Tell all your friends tell your families scream it from the back of your deck while you're cooking on your big green egg time to subscribe to our ace hardware youtube channel then leave your comments too and let us know how we can be helpful because like i've said a million times before this is all about you helping you cook better and be that legend in the backyard cooking circuit so i'm chef jason morris your ace hardware grill expert thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon hopefully and maybe at your local ace hardware thanks a lot to the uh, carlson folks for having us here we are excited to be in minnesota Take care.